from the sea. Bring your blades back door. Light them on fire, burners! Alright, so let's enter the Soviet here. Um, and uh, what we're starting out with is uh, on foot. Um, many people have asked, can you fight on foot? No, you're not fighting um, on the ground. Um, you have to get into your dragon pretty quickly, because otherwise, in most cases, either, either you're going to fail your mission, or um, uh, somebody will kill you in the meantime. So let's jump on there, and let's look at the technology a little bit. So you absolutely seamlessly go from that view all the way over to what we just saw in the cutscene, which is this palace. And um, one of the dreams which we always had at Factor 5 was, well, we would love to do what we did in our previous flight games, but we would also like to get all the way down to the level of uh, what a ground game, a purely character-based ground game would do, because we saw opportunities for gameplay. We will actually show another level, um, the newest version of the bridge level, which you've seen before, we we'll actually point that out. So um, what you can see here really is that um, we can go into those steps and these stairs all the way down to the very detailed level. Um, it's been possible through uh, two techniques. First of all, we're streaming textures. Um, every single texture in the game is being streamed off the Blu-ray disc. Um, the other technique um, is, has to do with um, the geometry. All of the geometry is being morphed in real time um, between different levels of detail. So with that, we can achieve thousands of buildings here in this city. Um, and go on, uh, go into the very detail of every single one of those while there's also war going on there. Um, the technique is called uh, progressive mesh, and progressive mesh actually up until um, this generation was up absolutely thought to be impossible to be done in real time. It's not the graphics chip which is doing it, but it's a cell, and it's one of these things which really sell absolutely is fantastic for. You couldn't do um, progressive mesh at this scale. Um, in, on any other system that I could think of um, this generation. And uh, it really helps to bring our specific type of game um, to life here. Um, and as you can see, we also have the next iteration of our landscape engine, which we've been working on for many, many years. Um, it's more detailed than ever. You've got worlds of 32 by 32 kilometers um, in diameter, while at the same time having the detail level that you can actually look into individual buildings uh, um, windows if you if you want or basically the little stacks um, on tops of roofs um, and although in this level you can't actually go down there and land in other levels we're using that um, again for gameplay quite a bit <laughs>